Good day to all of you. We got some good news to share. The ProRealtor mobile app has been updated with a new version. The app is faster, has new charts and is a better fit for your traders managing their portfolio and orders. The mobile app can be accessed from your phone, tablet or desktop device through the mobile URL m.proreatum.com. So let's see about the updates. So after login, you come to this, uh, to this home page. The home page is the central page of your, uh, of your mobile app. From the left top, you can uh, choose the menu icon and uh, you can tick home to enter the home page. So from your home page, what, what, uh, what can be displayed here? If you have open positions, they will be displayed, like in this case, uh, the micro and NASDAQ. If you have pending orders, they're also in here. You have the dis lost display charts and you have your, uh, yeah, your favorite watch list, in this case, uh, the popular instruments. In the app, everywhere you see these kinds of arrow icons and these are uh, shortcuts to the charts of this, uh, these specific instruments. So let's click on the icon and you see that the chart of the, the, the micro NASDAQ or the, yeah, the micro NASDAQ is, uh, is opened. From this chart, you can do many things like uh, scroll, add indicators. Uh, there's a whole list of indicators you can add. Draw um, different uh, icons like lines, uh, trend uh, channels, uh, the ProReal trend uh, is included here, Fibonacci, uh, that kind of uh, things. Um, for people who are interested in uh, modifying the charts to their, uh, to their own wishes, there's also a, a section about the settings to add a grid, to, uh, to change colors, etc. And uh, yeah, well, the, the standard functionality, which we also have in the Java application, it's also um, included here to manage your uh, the display of your charts. So um, let's go back to the uh, to the home page, click, and um, see what has been added for uh, for traders using this uh, application. The application is included um, for each uh, customer of ProRealTime.com or Trading.ProRealTime.com. It means it means that you can use it um, as a paper trading device or as a real trading device. So, uh, well, let's see from this uh, perspective. At this moment, there is uh, three long positions in the uh, micro NASDAQ. Let's click on this uh, position and see what we can do here. So as I said, uh, three long. From this position page, you see the bid ask uh, prices immediately in your, uh, in your screen, the low and the high. There are four things you can do. Or for example, if you want to close the position right away, you click on the uh, uh, blue uh, cross, click, and you immediately get an, uh, a validation window to validate your order to close the position. What can I do more? Uh, I could do, um, do a partial exit. Let's say that I want to close one contract now. I click on partial exit, exit, choose the quantity I want to close, validate, and the order is being sent. If I'm quite bullish on the market and I want to increase my position, I click here, choose your order type, for example, market, quantity one, validate, and it will buy another contract or place a limit order, quantity one, uh, set the limit price and validate. From this position, it's a non-protected position. So let's say that I want to add uh, stops and targets to protect my gains and the downside with the losses. So add stop, target, and I can choose between three different types. I can choose the OCO, one cancels the other. It means that you can uh, have a target and stop connected to each other to manage the position, or I can uh, set an individual stop or an individual target. So in this case, um, for example, I set an uh, OCO. I say that the limit price um, it's for 13. Uh, well, I'm um, I'm quite positive today, so let's see that I want to close it at um, 13,500, and the stop I want to protect it at. Um, 13,350. If it goes below, I want to close the position. All right, validate. The confirmation window comes to explain you what happened, what will happen. So limit, all right, three sell, perfect, stop at 350, sell three, perfect, validate order. So you see there's a pending section added to this uh, position details uh, window where now the um, sell stop and uh, sell limit orders are included. So if I go now back to the home screen, just to, just to display, you see here the pending orders are now also displayed here. If I want to, to, to make a change to one of my orders, 
I simply click the order here, pending, for example, um, click. And what I can do is I can uh, modify the order, modify, change the price, 13,550, modify order, I validate it, and it's done, update it. It's also easy to remove an order, of course. Uh, you click on the order, you say cancel, you confirm your wish to change, click, and uh, the order is being cancelled. So this is how it works for an uh, already active position, but let's say that I want to open uh, a new position in another instrument. We can do uh, several things, or we go uh, through the watch list and uh, see if the, if the instrument, uh, just click the instrument for example, and um, I'm able to, uh, to do some trading here in the left uh, bottom corner. I open the trading icons, or uh, in this case, I want to do something with the micro feature. So I click on the name, uh, the search appears, I can just type in uh, another code uh, for the micro, for example, the system searches. I click the instrument and uh, the chart is loaded. Um, I want a little bit different uh, time frame, let's say five minutes. Okay, the market has run up a bit. So let's say that we want to do a trend line, for example, this one. Okay, so let's say that we want to go uh, short on this instrument. So in the left bottom corner, you see the uh, the order icons. The um, you can open it, and there's um, yeah a kind of a scalper too. It's it's uh, at market. You can buy and sell at market. So let's say that I want to sell at market. I click here, sell at market. I validate the order, and uh, one contract has been executed short. So if you don't uh, like to uh, trade at market or you want to have some uh, limit or stop orders, uh, then Go to uh, other order types and choose the direction. In this case, I want to add to my short, so uh, I choose a cell, um, limit order type, okay, quantity one. I want to go short, short at 4216. Yeah, no stop and no, no bracket attached, not needed at this moment. Validate. I, val I validate your order and it's being placed. So in the chart, you see cell. Limit one, uh, 4,216 waiting for execution. All right, um, let's go back to the home screen. Uh, through home, you have access to several other features also. So uh, like uh, lists, which uh, displays your, uh, your favorite lists. And uh, you can quickly uh, see other lists if you want. There's also uh, top movers. It displays uh, the highest risers or uh, fallers from different markets or sections of markets you can uh, you can select. Of course, it, it has uh, charts. Um, uh, I've already shown you with uh, how to search for other securities uh, if you want. And for traders, of course, the portfolio is included um, with the value of your portfolio, your daily gain, latent gain, positions, and uh, pending orders, if any. And of course, uh, the order list is included with your uh, latest orders. Um, there's also a section for uh, pro order auto trading. It's a window to manage your auto trading systems uh, if you have them active and, uh, and other uh, things like preferences. And of course, uh, if you want to contact us uh, through the support. All right. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope you like this new uh, update. Feel free to contact us at uh, contact at realtime.com. Uh, if you have any feedback or suggestions uh, to make on this version, uh, we're happy to, uh, to receive it. All right. Thank you. Happy trading. Bye bye.